Yeah, there is this RCA connector that's hooked to this particular connector. Let's see what that goes to. What does it connect? Oh, this is RCA. So it can be used for a whole bunch of different things. It's often used for audio signals for old stereo systems. And it's also used for composite video, but it can be used for whatever. So this connection is almost assuredly ground. We need to look up and figure out what this pin is. Okay, so this is pin one and the numbered pins are on top, the lettered pins are on the back, and this is hooked to pin M, which so is... So that's the audio out. And pin one? And it's not just any audio out, wow. it's the low version of audio out instead of this high version of audio out. So okay. it's just connected to ground and audio output. Yeah, so whenever you have a signal, you generally also have a ground connection with it, so it has a ground reference. And so what kind of audio do we get out of this machine? Is that for the cassette interface? My guess is the audio would sound something like You're probably not wrong. Okay, so this is showing the audio output circuitry. So one of these goes through a resistor divider to cut down on the voltage coming out. So we're taking this to M over here, apparently is what Richard used. Now it looks like we also want an audio in to be able to read from a cassette. So that's pin L. And so we'll need to put another connector here on pin L to be able to read in. Probably what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a new connector here and just make up my own one.